From Del Mar to Middletown, Bombay Hook to the Brandywine, Dover to Wilmington, this is the Caesar Rodney Institute Policy Podcast. Today, CRI Communications Director Sam Friedman talks with economist Stephen Moore, distinguished visiting fellow at the Heritage Foundation, about the federal debt, income inequality, entrepreneurship, and taxes. Here's Sam. Federal debt held by the public is way up, but a lot of people, Stephen, just see debt as a really big number that has no relation to them. Uh, Can you tell our audience why the federal deficit matters? Well, it matters yeah, because we're spending so much money, and every time the government spends a dollar, that's one less dollar that the private sector can spend on job creation and expanding businesses and paying higher salaries and so on. So we've we've had, um, when from the time Barack Obama entered office to the time he will have left office, we will nearly have doubled our national debt, which is incredible when you think about it. I mean, we not quite, but we'll, he's going to leave office with nearly $20 trillion of debt. And, and that's going to mean, you know, higher interest payments. It means we're going to pay higher taxes all the time just to pay for uh, just to pay for the interest on the debt, not for the government services that we need. And will that also mean that inflation will hit us, food prices go up? Well, could. You know, we don't we don't know exactly. I mean, inflation is very tame right now, but we could see a, a you know big increase in inflation coming. If and if that happens. You know, that means that interest rates will rise and it will make it even harder for us to pay off our debt because a bigger and bigger percentage of what we uh, what we pay for will go for, um, again, not for national defense and not for Social Security and not for building roads and, and not for other programs we care about, like our schools, but it will go to pay bondholders. And we're going to have less and less money to pay for the government services that we want. Now, one of the issues on the campaign trail right now goes back into – Uh, income inequality. Now, this centers on the theme of a lack of economic mobility as well, which you've seen a lot in, especially in the Democratic primary. Now, is this income inequality a problem in your view? And what would you do to encourage or restore economic mobility? Well, I mean, we need growth. You know, we're growing so slowly that people can't get a pay raise. So that's meaning it's not just the problem isn't income inequality. It's that people aren't getting more, uh, they're not getting richer. And We've seen a real slowdown, and we, the American worker hasn't gotten no pay raise in 10 years. The problem isn't that top people, top 1% are doing well. I mean, that's fine. I'm all for it. We need more millionaires and billionaires. I think everyone wants to be one. But the problem is that people in the bottom 75% have seen almost no gains. These are a real indictment of the policies we've been put, put in place for the last 10 years. They haven't worked under the last, you know, the second term of uh, George Bush and the, and the first the term and a half under Barack Obama. We need to get back to growth. We need to fix the tax system. We need to have a pro-America energy policy. We need to get rid of regulations that are strangling our businesses. We need to, you know, have a policy that allows businesses to bring some of their profits from abroad back home so they can invest here. These are obvious things. They're low-hanging fruit, but President Obama won't allow them to happen. Speaking of businesses, entrepreneurship is a pretty hot topic. Shark Tank is one of the most popular shows on television. However, despite news, Stephen, of the latest tech company like Uber or Airbnb that goes public, polling data has shown that the overall rate of entrepreneurship in America, particularly for young people who have higher rates of unemployment, is down. And the business death rate is now higher than the birth rate. What is the cause of this overall decline in uh, Americans wanting to start a business? Well, when you have an administration that is hostile to business, as this one is, I mean, this is the president who said that, is, you know, recently, six months ago, uh, that, uh, you know, um, the small businesses, you didn't build that. <laughs> you know, I mean, who, who built the business if the, if the uh, entrepreneur didn't build it? Uh, you know, we have uh, the, one of the leading presidents looking out at Hillary Clinton saying, um, you know, businesses don't create jobs. I mean, so there is a hostility to business, and who wants to you know, create a business in that kind of hostile atmosphere. Um, I think, you know, the regulations, the taxes, the overspending, the debt, um, they have all kind of contributed to a hunkering down attitude. It's not just starting new businesses. Obviously, we need new businesses. We also want our businesses that currently exist to expand, and they're not expanding nearly at the rate that they normally would during a recovery because they're afraid of what the next, uh, you know, shoe is going to drop from Washington, and that shoe is going to drop right on their head. Free market capitalists believe that we should have a level playing field, that everybody should basically, um, you know, compete on an equal basis. We shouldn't give favoritism towards some businesses. Um, that, that's how what made our country great, by the way, is, is that anybody can succeed in this country if they work hard and they make good investments and they take some risks and those pay off. Uh, I'm afraid that that 
ethic has changed in America. That people don't want to do that anymore because they think if they do make it rich, somehow they're going to be treated like villains. Thank you so much for your time, Stephen. Yeah, uh, happy to do it. See you, uh, see you when I'm out there on Thursday. See you on Thursday. That was Stephen Moore, Distinguished Visiting Fellow at the Heritage Foundation. And he will be here in Delaware on Thursday at Ed Oliver's Golf Club uh, at a dinner sponsored by the Caesar Rodney Institute. Now, you've been listening to the Caesar Rodney Institute Impact Delaware Policy Podcast. Visit our website, caesarrodney.org, for the latest columns, research, and events on issues affecting you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our episode archive. I'm Sam Friedman. Thanks for joining us and have a great rest of your day.